Hi, my name is Jay Kreider. Um, I'm born and raised here in, in Helena. Um, this is one of my, my shows here currently at the Holter in the Millican Gallery. This one kind of encompasses some work from even this last year, 2020, and then even um, work spanning back to 2003. So some of the first stuff that I ever ever displayed here in town. So some of the stuff I have is basically everything back here is acrylic paintings. Um, and as you can see, I have like behind me here is, is one of my favorites that I did, which is called the Spaghetti Night, which was really inspired by, um, you know, getting together with your family and, and eating spaghetti and love the idea of it being a night as well. So some of these paintings I had to borrow from um, people that have, that have purchased them in the past and some were kind of hard to get, get away from them, so. <laughs> I also have in this show my little neighborhood series that I did, which is basically constructed little houses and buildings, um, you know, with window glass and wood and sidings and little bricks and tile and, and kind of a look into, you know, what a neighborhood might look like. And then some other stuff that I had done, even like my uh, little sticker series that I did, where with the stickers, you it comes with the painting, and it comes with a little sticker pack that you can uh, actually remove the stickers and place them on the painting if you chose to do so. A lot of uh, my inspiration has come from in the past even just sitting down with a sketchbook and doodling. I have a pile of sketchbooks almost as tall as I am, where it's almost like if you were a writer and you were just sitting down and jotting, you know, things that come up, come to your head. Um, that's a lot of how I doodle, and, and during that time, it's really a good way to kind of let ideas pop into your head. And sometimes when an idea pops into my head, I have to just run with it. And sometimes it just kind of goes in and goes back out. But I oftentimes, especially with those sketchbooks, will revisit them even years down the road, like the neighborhood series. A lot of those were little drawings that I had done. I couldn't really find a place of making a featured painting out of them. So they worked perfectly as this little voyeuristic look into, into these, these houses. My other show here at the Holter currently is uh, in the Sherman Gallery, and those are all oil paintings. I kind of switched this last year to try oil paintings. I kind of, you know, I did acrylic painting for 20 years and, and avoided oil painting, and finally decided that I would give it a give it a shot. And I was just blown away by the differences in the two and what I was able to do with oil. So in the front, I have more um, landscapes and a lot of uh, paintings of my family in this last this last year you know what's up with us all being home I have some great pictures of uh, like my kids doing their remote learning and and that's actually one of my favorite paintings up front is just a candid shot of my two kids working on schoolwork and then of course the dog is in the front and um, it, it was a really cool way to relive that memory when I was painting it because it, you know, every single time I sat down to, to paint, it brought me back to that moment when my kids were, you know, sitting there doing their work. So, yeah. I've told this story a lot and I, I, uh, I always, or I think about it quite a bit is, it, it, I remember exactly the day that I knew I wanted to be an artist and I was, I, I was five years old in kindergarten and I had a best friend named Andy and I remember he came to class one day with a drawing of uh, these three leprechauns. And I was just blown away by it. I, I, I couldn't believe it. So I was asking him, how did you learn to do this? 
And uh, he told me he was taking art classes from a lady here in town, Sharon Holtine, who still does art classes uh, for kids here in town. And I bugged my parents that entire year of kindergarten to get me into art classes. And they finally did uh, next the following year, first grade. And I just took art classes all the way up from first grade from her through high school, all the classes in high school and some in college, but I mostly at that point kind of knew what I wanted to try to explore. So, but yeah, so for that whole entire time, just been trying to find ways to continue on and, and push it. And uh, I'm still extremely inspired by doing different things. And I, I try not to stick with one type of thing. As you can see, there's lots of different, different types of art in here. And, it's kind of like once you know you pull that thread, you just have to kind of follow it until um, you know I kind of I, I kind of move on to something else. Then if you want to see more of my art, I have all of my art on display on my website. It's jkreiderart.com. Um, there are prices and contact information on there as well. Um, I'm also going to be displaying some art at the 10 Mile Brewery here coming up in February. And that's going to be completely different than anything that I even have down here at the Holter. I kind of bit off more than I could chew. but. I am so appreciative of, you know, how great of a town for art Helena is, and especially the Holter Museum to have, you know, to be given this opportunity to show to show my art here and, and not just my new stuff, but some of my older, older stuff as well. So very, very appreciative of that. So thank you.